it's Nicole here. I am recording my December polish pickup wish list video. Um, I am currently not planning on buying any nail polish. Fingers crossed, because I, yeah, I need to de-stash. I've got a gigantic pile of polishes that I'm trying to de-stash. So I, the goal today is not to purchase any nail polish. The goal is just to look, say things are pretty, maybe pick up a couple of extra items, and that's it. Fingers crossed. All right, so let's just get into this one. Okay. Ooh, what? Is, no. We're just gonna look. Ooh, this is pretty. Ooh, those flakies look gorgeous. This kind of reminds me of um, Zombie Claw Polish had a polish last year. I think it was October, September. Sometime in the fall, I think, and it was called um, Excellent. It was a sister polish to their polish pickup polish. This is reminding me of that one quite a bit. That is pretty. Again, Alchemy Lacquers. Oh my, la I think the last three months, the Alchemy Lacquers polish has called my name and I didn't jump on it. Wow, that is pretty. That is pretty. Ooh, Gray's Jelly. Ooh. Nope, we said no nail polish. Ooh, that all mixed up lacquer polish. That was one of my favorite polishes this month. That is such a pretty, pretty, pretty polish. Ooh, okay, we're just looking, we're just looking. Ooh. Aw, they had a baby. That is pretty. And the shimmer looks gorgeous. These pictures look so pretty. I think that those are Lisa's pictures. I think Lisa did those. So pretty. Ooh, don't need a tote bag, but that is cute. Tom and Jerry luxury hand cream. Oh, 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 what's this, what's this, what's this? <laughs> I really like this one. Oh, these are really cute. Oh. But like last month, I'm finding that I don't want to spend $15 for one sticker. In this case, it would be two stickers. This one and um, this one that I really like. If anyone's not on the fence and definitely getting those, the quality on those are always really good. I have purchased those in the past. They're really nice. Ooh, thermals. Nope, Nicole. Just keep it moving. Keep it moving. Don't need it. Ooh, sorry if you can hear my house ticking. Yeah, I think the it's picking it up. Old houses. Yeah. My house is very old. It's like over 100 years old. Um, this room and all the rooms on the downstairs were all built long before all of us were born. Like before there was heating available in every room so we have there are fireplaces in all the rooms like it's that old oh my god i'm still so excited that um fair Maiden polish sent me their polish pickup this month like ah uh... <laughs> um i really feel like i manifested that one into being because i think it was in my last wish list video i was just like i really wish i can get on the PR list for Fair Maiden Polish, and then I did, like, <laughs> I don't know if they're ever going to send me anything again, but I'm just super, super thankful that they sent me something at all. Yeah, that was super, super gorgeous. Ooh, let's see what this one is. Ooh, a reddish plum base. Ooh, Fancy Gloss really knows how to do a damn good flaky, like, that brand always does a really good flaky polish. This one looks really pretty. Ooh. Oh, wow. That one's gorgeous. If I was buying polish this month, this would definitely be on my list. Nope, we're not doing it. No one saw that. No one saw that. Keep on scrolling, keep on scrolling. I'm very... Another polish, if I was buying polishes this month, this would be another one that I would want. It has the reflective uh, pigment in it. And I was definitely on the fence about whether or not the reflective polishes were worth anything. <laughs> not worth anything. If they were worth the effort in buying them for something that's only going to look good in certain lighting. Yeah. I think it's worth it, personally. Like, I definitely think they look really cool. And, like, yeah. 
definitely really, really cool. Oof, I love this polish. This one was so pretty. Why didn't I include it in my favorites? Um, so fun, funny story. Let me just click on it. Funny story about this polish. Um, Linby Designs always, I shouldn't say always, almost always does magnetic polishes. And I've just gotten to the point when I get one of their polishes in PR, I automatically assume that it's going to be a magnetic polish. So when I was swatching this one, um, I had my little magnet out. I was there holding it and nothing was happening. And I was just like, yeah, so I am ashamed to say that I attempted to magnetize all four of my fingers before I flipped the bottle over to look to see if it is in fact a magnetic polish and it wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, like I was there typing up an email to send to the brand to let them know that I could not get it magnetized. And then I looked at it and it was not even magnetic. And the real kicker is that right before I started swatching it, I keep notes of everything that I swatch. So um, in my notes, like I looked at the bottom of the bottle to get the name to put it on my notes. So when I looked at the bottom, I swear to God that I saw it said um, magnetic on there. Like I swear that's what it said. And so, like, I could not get it magnetized. So my original notes for this polish were, like, I couldn't get it magnetized, but I'm sure the brand will fix it. And, yeah, it's not even a magnetic. It is freaking gorgeous, but it's not a magnetic. Ooh, Ooh, plaid earrings. Ooh, speaking of magnetics, this one by Music City Beauty, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Mm, beautiful. Ooh, and my indie polish, that was my favorite polish this month. Like, it's such a pretty one. If I was buying backups, I would likely want to grab a backup of that one because it's really, really beautiful. Ooh, and I had so much fun with these um, nail vinyls. Those are really fun to work with. Oh, who's at my door? Oh, hi, Sammy. Are you coming in? One of my cats wanted to come in. Oh, yes, alpaca. I don't even have to look at that. I definitely want this for the kitties. See? Sorry, I had to close my door. Let's see what this one is. Ooh. Oh, man, that is pretty. Who's ever swatched that is? I really like your ring. We're not buying any nail polish this month. We're not buying any nail polish this month. Fingers crossed, at least. Oh, this is another one that had caught my eye, and I really, really wanted to grab it. I saw this one in the Sweet and Sour Lacquer group. Oh, my God, that polish is so pretty. So pretty. Uh, but we're not buying nail polish this month. So, in case anyone's wondering, Sammy is our very shy cat. He does not do well with being picked up, which is why I have not picked him up to show him to you all. He is a very, very shy boy. Oh yeah, he's trying to decide if he wants to hop up on the chair. If he hops up onto the chair, I'll turn the camera so you guys can meet him. Because I don't think he's ever been on... Actually, yeah, I think he's been in some videos where he when he's outside on the porch. But I don't think anyone's ever seen him inside the house. Let's keep it scrolling. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's my Sammy boy right there. Ignore the mess on the floor. Sammy, can we see your face? Yeah. Ignore the constant mess of the nail room. <laughs> yeah. Let's turn it up. No one needs to see all the junk I have on the floor. Oh, lots of time. Let me just see what the scent is this month. Ooh, peppermint. Oh, yeah. I know I'm probably not going to like that one. I don't know. I just, I peppermint is just not for me. Like, I feel like the only exception thus far to my trying peppermint scented things is the Heather's Hughes lotion from this month. Um, it's like cocoa and peppermint together. That one I like, but only because the cocoa scent is the dominant scent and then you just get like nice little whiffs of the peppermint. That I liked, but I peppermint just isn't my thing in general. This polish is really, really gorgeous. I'm always so envious when I see people have like these gorgeous backgrounds and props and things. I am not good with props, like I'm working on it. This polish was so gorgeous. So gorgeous. I would definitely recommend this one. And this one is sheer enough that you can definitely pair it, use it as like a topper 
Definitely with that one. That it? Ooh, let me just see zombie law. Ooh, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. But no, 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 we're not doing, we're not doing nail polish. Oh, these look cute. Bloop. All right, let's go see the damage. Three. That's not bad at all. Holy ah! I can't believe I did it. Yeah, I can't believe I did it. I made it through the whole thing and I only put one nail polish in, like. Good job me. I am so shocked right now. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it looks like I'm not gonna have to do any whittling down. Um, in case anyone was wondering why it says seven here, that is because, um, I had four things left over from last month and it's still showing that. So yeah. So yeah, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I would love to know what everyone's planning on picking up. Um, thank you for watching. Did I say that already? I think I said that already. Um, yeah. And also, this one more shout out for my earrings. These look so cool. They are definitely crazy heavy, though. They're really, really heavy. They are gorgeous, though. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. Give me a big old thumbs up. Um, another giveaway will be coming soon once we hit 1,000 subscribers. So definitely subscribe. Uh, yeah, I'll see you all next video.